Are you a researcher? Excuse me, I don't mean to take up too much of your time, but did you see some strange lights last night? Someone witnessed three stars falling from the sky. I thought it could be a meteorite of some sort, but there's no evidence of that anywhere. It's possible it burned up before it reached our atmosphere. If you see anything that looks out of place, please let me know. Him, you might also find out more. I'm counting on you. Come to me if you notice anything strange. By the way, the witnesses noticed something interesting about the stars. They said that all three of them were different colors. Three different colored stars falling from the sky. It sounds like it could be connected to something quite mystical. Okay. Don't you think? <laughs> I understand that one. Do you know Alyssa? She's the director's right hand woman. Some people out there are saying she charmed her way into the position, but I don't buy it. You have to have brains to hold down that kind of job. So essentially our emerald I've crystal been praying for the souls of the dead. is Everything our green one. On that so there's day. two more crystals that Ten we need to find ago. over there. A lot of time has passed since then, and the wounds of many have healed. But I will never forget what happened. I couldn't show that kind of disrespect to the Actually, dead. I used to believe that if we solved the mystery of the paradox, we'd be able to rewind time and fix the past. But I've come to realize that that's not what they would have wanted. What we have to do is create a peaceful world and live for the future. We're just going to talk to I'm him. I'm interested to find out if there's another world out there. I wonder if the me You found three crystals, all of a different color? Can I see them? These must be what fell from the sky. And I can only think of one explanation for what they are. Of course, I must warn you, it's, it's not a very scientific explanation. Even though I'm a scientist, I try to keep an open mind. This is why I think it's possible there's some truth behind what I read in an ancient transcript. Long ago, the seeress of Padra offered three prayers to the night sky and made a prophecy. She predicted that her three prayers would take the form of stars and fall from the sky in the course of time. The colors of the three stars were stated clearly in the prophecy. It just so happens that they match the colors of the crystals down to a T. This can't just be a coincidence of some sort. The crystals are yours to keep. The people of ancient times believed that the prayers of the Cirrus had powers of protection. This is her gift to you from the past. Hmm. Okay. I wonder if the, the future is saw into the future. Yeah, so, I mean, I was thinking, like... We already looked, like, up and down all of that area, so... I highly doubt... There's anything else over there. Alright, so there's our old battery. The more we dig, the more we discover. We found records of a great war that took place on Grand Pulse long ago. Little by little, we're finally starting to uncover the history of this world. The secrets hidden within these ruins are the key to the future. It's ironic that a people destroyed by war are teaching us how to live in peace. Yep. All of them ran over there because of Mog. So it still boggles my mind about the uh, 
the watch, though. Have you heard about this legend? Many years ago, there was a young girl who worshipped the seeress of Padra. With much training and dedication, the girl secured herself a position as one of the protectors of the seeress. But when war broke out in the city, the girl was fooled by the enemy and wound up betraying the one she set out to protect. Charged with treason, the girl faced severe punishment. She was turned into a Seath and was forced to wander the Yashas Massif for all of eternity. According to the legend, she's still there, waiting for someone to defeat her and help put her soul to rest. I don't know how much truth there is to that story, but if you ever spot a Seath in the ruins, you should do it justice and kill it. You'd be doing it a favor by putting it out of its misery. Okay. I think it looks nasty. Uh, if the legend is to be believed, there's a chance to find a safe portal. If you want to set her free, I won't stop you. But remember, even though she used to be a human being, she's a monster now. Stay on your toes out there, or you'll end up losing your life. Nah. So, let's talk to these guys. Somebody has to have a password Remember for me. Remember the ten years ago? The Sanctum forced people to relocate. Apparently, both Alyssa and the Director were victims of that unfortunate event. That's probably why they understand each other so well. Sure. Do you have a password? This can't be. This is horrible. Can you spare a minute to listen to my ramblings? We uncovered a stone tablet, only to have it broken into pieces by some monsters. Got it. We hadn't even deciphered the engravings yet. We thought we had made the discovery of a lifetime, but now that dream has turned to dust, literally. I would give my right arm and more to go back in time and retrieve it before it gets damaged. You're yep. going to... Don't be oh, absurd. Sorry. Like I told you before, it shattered into a million pieces. It's gone. No other relic compared to that tablet in value. I don't see how you'd be able to get your hands on something like that. No matter how many print. I bet my baby. I wonder if the seeress. Wait, is that? This can't be. That's the tablet that shattered into pieces. Where did you get it? It's, it's the real thing. The stone tablet tells the story of an ancient myth. According to some legends, the people of Cocoon and the people who lived on Pulse many years ago were born from the same ancestors. Can you imagine people from two different worlds being related by blood? It turns out the people on Pulse spoke a language quite similar to ours, so the legend may not be as far-fetched and absurd as some may think. I think we finally found a piece to a very important puzzle. The puzzle of our history, our background, our evolution. Uh-huh. I it's wonder if the Seerus saw into the future. drive was discovered in the area right back there is there anybody up here that maybe can tell me a password although even if the paradox disappears some people are bound to remember we've been told to focus heavily on this area Sources say something valuable may be buried here. Nothing to report today. Hmm. Huh? <laughs> Why is that guy still... Got bubbles over his head? So tell me, have you run into oh. this when you fight us? Yeah, I forgot. I'm already losing my mind. I wonder. Even though it showed a picture from the opposite side, 
wonder if it's something that we can see from this angle. We don't by chance, like, have something already, do we? Outdoor watch. So maybe, we, maybe we already found it. And I just didn't know it. Okay, so we have to go fight this thief, and then we're leaving this time. I don't remember picking up a watch. This is one of my easiest missions ever. Crap. Free money. Showed a picture of the seeth up towards the top of this area. Hmm. I wonder if that person would be worth talking to. Possibly up on top of the uh, little, little heel here. I, I think it did show up from here because it was it showed that fallen building right there. One down, more to go. So it's gotta be like right around here. I was like swinging my sword into it. Wow. This thing's actually pretty beefy.
accurate really fast. CP off of that. <laughs> All right. So we have our battery, we have our watch. And now we've defeated the seat. So we just need to defeat or talk to the guy about the seat and then go back to 10 AF and talk to those people. And hopefully that unlocks something. <laughs> the only thing that I can think of is maybe Maybe in 100 AF, whenever we did all of the uh, side quest stuff to just relieve all those souls that were abducted by the Paradox. I wonder if one of those had the password. Because, see, it says Supply Sphere. about it the more it doesn't seem like it's the right thing stone and disappeared. wonder if that was her, the girl from the legend. You know, I'd like to think it was. I forgot to mention it before, but there's more to the legend. You see, if the girl is ever freed from her cursed fate as a Seath, her new responsibility will be to protect her new master from harm. So they say, perhaps her soul is in that stone, determined to protect the ones who freed her from her horrid fate. Meh, probably not. Okay, well, we didn't have to go back and talk to him.
Come on. This guy, the old battery. Field work is too dangerous for me. Yeah, it probably is. Is this what I think it is? How did you get your hands on something like this? Would this be enough to compensate you for your trouble? You say you want to know why I'm paying this much for a piece of junk? Hmm. You two popped out of that gate, didn't you? Well, in that case, I suppose you'll believe me if I tell you then. The reason I'm collecting things that can almost be classified as antiques is because I'm from the past. I'm a time traveler, just like you. Hmm. I was thrown into the future by a paradox, and so far, I haven't been able to find my way back. But please don't tell anyone else about my situation. I love my life here, and I don't want anything to disrupt that. I even have a beautiful wife who adores me. Can you get to the bottom of the mystery of the gates? I don't want more people getting swallowed up by a paradox and finding themselves in a foreign time. I made the most of it, but I don't know if others will be able to do the same. To be honest, dude, you didn't really pay me that much. Just saying. You found my watch? Wow, this is it. This is really it? And there's barely a scratch on it. How is that even possible? It fell from such a great distance. It looks like the date is off a little, though. But amazingly, other than that, everything else looks intact. Once I adjust the date, it'll be as good as new. The store owner really meant it when he said that watch would last for over 10,000 years. I thought he was joking then, but now I have proof he was telling the truth. I bought it from a little shop called Lenora's Garage in the town of New Bowden. They really know how to make things that last. You should check it out when you get a chance. It's huh. just about my favorite shop on Pulse. That's kind of cool. That was the name of one of the shops in the original game. All right, so there's quite a bit in academia. Oh, they're going to be all fucking quizzes. Not worth. All right, so we have all of them here. We're still missing one there. The only thing that I can think of is to. Okay, we can't check this way. Um, Jonah has his hands full of rapidly increasing number of monsters. He believes there's a recording device somewhere that should contain all sorts of monster data. Hmm. I don't remember. All right, so according to Porter, a government agent that calls the Paradox lies in Atlas's control device. However, the passwords to the unit have been lost. One of the passwords was held by a man who recently passed away in... Let's see. Only someone from the future might be able to decipher the other. Hmm. So he either has to be in this one and... And only 
someone from the future. So that means probably someone in Brescia's future would be able to solve the other one. I don't remember there being anyone down there any time that we've been able to access it. Okay. The seat left behind a shiny stone and disappeared. This is one of my easiest hurt. missions. Living in the past doesn't help anyone move forward. Alyssa and the director are... Isn't that a strange... Let's actually go talk to them too. I don't think we talked to them on this timeline. The seat left behind a shiny stone and disappeared. I wonder if that was her, the girl from the legend. You know, I'd like to think it was. I forgot to mention it before. Lightning was fighting in Valhalla. That's where I met her. And that's when she told me to come and find Sarah. I see. Valhalla, otherwise known as the Unseen World. I think Lightning wants us to fix the timeline. Put it back how it was. Maybe that's why she gave me the power to travel through time and control monsters. She was unable to do anything on her own, so she turned to the one person she trusted more than anyone. Yes, it is possible, although the idea raises even more questions. How should you interpret the images shown? Uh, none of this matters. Do the prophecies recorded on the device show the actual future as it will happen? Some of the stuff is different from the history I learned. The history of the future has yet to be written. We've already learned that when a paradox occurs, the images from the device become unclear and indistinct. In the same way, as the historical timeline shifts, your own memories become unsettled. Makes sense. Sometimes I find it hard to remember really important things. It's like a paradox is running inside my head. The Oracle Drive records the true future, but sometimes that future is subject to change. Recordings and memory are both unstable. More than anything, this is evidence that history can be changed. I still find it hard to believe, though, that my memories can just change like that. Damn it. I wonder if the Seeress saw into the future. Did she know that you would be the one? I don't know. I'm in a great mood to. I don't know what else could possibly. I don't know what else could be possibly like thank you for shopping here used for finding a fragment i mean we've talked to i hope i left enough food in his bowl things are I'm as peaceful pretty sure as ever. every single person so unless it's literally just a fragment that's hiding go talk to that lady up top. That's probably where this is gonna go. Let's buy some greens really fast. And we'll use those greens to ride the chuffo flap there. I wish something would happen. I better take him for a walk later. I'm in a great Can't buy greens anymore? Are you kidding me?
Thank you for shopping. So, how the hell are Nothing we supposed to, to get up today. there? 